10 DC. This is Radio Fox. And I am now joined by a very special guest on the phone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I am joined by the very talented Sir from the group Swami. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, Cindy. How are you? Thank you very much. It's, it's nice to be back on your show. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it has been some time. You know how we do things at Swami. We uh, we make all this noise, and then for about a year and a half, we just disappear. But when we when we do come back, we come back strong. Yeah, you come with a bang, don't you? <laughs> no, yeah, I like to say. So it's, it's nice when other people say it. It's better if you guys say it and we don't. <laughs> no, I've got I've got a first comment upon your name. The artist formerly known as Sups, or the artist formerly known as Surio. <laughs> You're following Prince's footsteps, aren't you? <laughs> I, well, you know what? If I have a career like his, I can't complain. And if having about ten different names is the way to go, then uh, we'll do that. But no, I think for my uh, for my uh, Swami career and, and our steps taken in India, I think this is the final name that I'll be working under. So from okay. now on, I, I am the artist formerly known as Subsan Surya, <laughs> cur- currently known as Sur. So okay, like it. Okay, so tell me more about Do It Again, your new release. Well, Do It Again was released on the 7th of November. It's a song that we've been working on genuinely for about four years. It's had, I think, at least about nine different versions in different languages. Wow. Uh, the tempo has changed. The style of music has changed. It's It continued to evolve as we would tour. We'd take it out on the road and see how people reacted to it. And um, it's very hard as a, as a band, uh, like us and Swami, for example. We really don't like to repeat ourselves. In terms of sonically, we've been on a huge journey for the last four years, and um, this song is the natural progression from what I believe is a favourite of yours, uh, Sugarless. Yes. Sugarless <laughs> was where we was where we kind of found all right. This we think we found our feet as a band. We found a sound that bridges our Indian heritage and our Indian culture with our British upbringing and our American influences. Um, in a very natural way, everything came together and. And then we worked on it and thought, well, where do we go from Sugarless? And, and after all those years, Do It Again was the sound that we just felt most connected to. And the actual content of the song, the meaning, it's just when you're, we all have that, that feeling sometimes, that desperation to go back to a moment in time in our life where everything seemed perfect. Or at least one thing in your life was so good that for years later you wish you could go back to it. That's the sentiment of this song. Oh, Wow. Amazing, and there's a lot more Hindi in your music these days, isn't there? Yeah, that's right. That's mm-hmm. a, that's another sort of stepping stone, and it's another bridge that we've crossed. We've realised that we love singing in Punjabi, we love writing Punjabi melodies, we are Punjabi ourselves. Mm-hmm. But when you spend as much time in in the Indian music industry as we have in this past year, uh, you realise your reach is far greater if you're able to fit Hindi into it. And and in doing so, in um, in including Hindi into our into our music. We've actually found that our social circles in India have changed. We spent some time with Salman Khan this year on the set of his film Kick. We've been wow. talking to people like Javed Akhtar and uh, yeah, it was, we were quite impressed as well. And uh, and A.R. Rahman, we've, we've been rubbing shoulders with some really, really amazing uh, people out there in the industry. And, and all it took was finding a natural way to fit Hindi into our music and, and look how much the doors have opened. Wow, that is amazing. Are you allowed to tell us any more about what you were talking to A.R. Rahman about or not yet? Uh, yeah, basically, um, they're replacing Salman Khan in his next movie with me. Uh, I'm going to be acting opposite Deepika <laughs> Padukone. No, I'm only joking. Um, I'm not allowed to give any information away, but all I can say is that people over there are definitely interested in what the UK has to offer, but not in terms of this Punjabi underground. You know, we 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 don't care what the rest of the world are doing. We're trying to hold on to Bhangra. They don't care about that. They want to know. If, if you listen to Bollywood music today, it sounds so international. Yeah. Bollywood music these days has such an incredible, clean international sound, and you know whether they like to admit that or not, a lot of that has been influenced by what is happening outside of India. So we have the advantage of being from the UK, and when we go over there, they like what we're doing. So we're spending a lot of time in, for example, we were working in Yashraj Studios in uh, in August in Bombay. And, Look at uh, you name actually, dropping there. Uh, no, well, no, this is what I mean. It's like I didn't even realise it was happening until it was happening, and I thought, okay, I'm. I'm I mean, these circles at the moment, but we're managing to keep our feet on the ground because it's not like we go there and they roll out the red carpets. We fully appreciate how lucky we are to be in these environments. Uh, And we're learning from it. We're learning from it all. Yeah, but come on. I mean, like with Swami, you guys have had that sound for many years now. Is it like Bollywood are just finally cottoning on to the fact that you guys have had that sound for a long time? 
<laughs> Maybe I, I honestly can't say, but I I know that after after dropping this video and and working with the people that we worked with, uh, it seemed like Bollywood was the right direction to go in for Swami because um, even the even the video itself, which I'm sure you've seen, or I hope you've yeah. seen it. No, I've seen uh, it. It's it's not your typical Brit Asian music video. There's very no. much a script. There's very much a budget. There's very much um, a desire to do something clean and crisp and and you know just cutting edge. And I hope we've been able to achieve that in the video. I, I feel like we have. And and as I said, even even the crew on the on the set, they're all saying, "Oh, you guys need to start working towards Bollywood now. India needs a sound like yours." And it's very encouraging when you hear Indians who live in India saying things like that too. Oh, I think your sound is amazing, and you know that. Thank and tell me a bit so more much. about the video. I read on YouTube something about over ten thousand light bulbs used. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. That's the, we we actually um in the, at the moment there's a process of uh, the world record books in India trying to figure out if we had the most amount of light bulbs ever used. In a shoot wow. and if we did Swami will be in the record book for that but um, yeah we decided that because it was going to be released around Diwali time and we needed a <laughs> we needed a theme and you know the whole the whole idea of light and, and love being linked together it just seemed to work for us we, we wanted to, to grab onto something interesting and the humble light bulb played its part oh no, I like it I like it all a lot so what can we expect from Swami now what can we look out for next will the album hopefully be out soon well, we're not, um, well, as you know, people don't really buy or sell albums anymore. So mm. we, we definitely have over an album and a half worth of material <laughs> that's fresh and new. But we're playing around with ideas as to how to release things. At the moment, we're doing them single at a time. So you've heard Do It Again. Um, we are already planning to shoot the second video to uh, a new song, which I can't give the name to, I'm afraid. Will that but, be in um, India as well? Most likely, yes. It's, okay. India has genuinely has become a second home to us. I think mm -hmm. I've spent collectively about five and a half months in India this year and every wow. time I have to come back to England though I do love London and I do love England I really miss being in India so mm. uh, you know you might, you might find that our, our phone calls with these interviews become international next year <laughs> I'll probably be living out in Bombay <laughs> oh fantastic so time for a silly Tindy question time bit of a Tindyism here now you know I always okay. ask you a strange question at the end of any interview don't I yeah that's the part I look forward to the most <laughs> <laughs> okay if you were a t-shirt what colour would you be and why? If I were a t-shirt, what colour would I be and why? Yes. Um, <laughs> firstly, I'd probably be a jumper because I get cold in t-shirts. If I was a okay. t-shirt, I'd probably be a very dark purple because uh, I think dark t-shirts look good. So that's a very um, shallow reason. Uh, and I've always been connected to the colour purple for some reason, for some spiritual reason. Uh, I, this is going to sound really random now. <laughs> From the age of about five, whenever I closed my eyes to pray, all I could ever see was a purple mist. Do you know, so, they do uh, say that purple is a very spiritual colour, don't they? Yeah, I think they do, but I, I honestly don't know what drew, drew that influence into my life. <laughs> dark purple has always been a very spiritual colour to me, so uh, I would be a purple t-shirt if I were a t-shirt. Thank you. And again, it'd probably be nice to be a pink t-shirt because then it's more likely that a girl would wear me. So, <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> pink I'd is the colour of unconditional love. Is that right? It is. I know oh, that. How, <laughs> how, do you, how do you know all this stuff, Timmy? What else do you do oh, in your spare time? Well, I'm quite spiritual myself, you see, and I, I, and I know that. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Well, what about you? If you were a t-shirt, what colour would you be? And well, why? At this moment, it'd have to be orange because I love orange. Lovely, bright colour orange. Yeah, orange. This is, is quite funny. Color. I was just be asking the questions, not you. <laughs> no, that's why I thought I'd put that around and see how you like being put on the spot. <laughs> okay, well, well, I'm going to put you on the spot one more last time, but you're not allowed to ask me back, okay? Okay, that's fine. That's okay, fine. if I gave you an elephant, where would you hide yeah. it? I wouldn't hide it. I would show it off proudly. I would take my elephant with me everywhere. Oh, and tell fantastic. the world that I, I would tell the world finally I have an elephant. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us today. And would you like Thank to introduce you so your new track? Yes, I would. Um, hello, everybody. You're listening to the Tindy C show with me, sort of from Swami. I would like to say thank you very much to Tindy for constantly supporting what we do. <laughs> Please enjoy our new song, Do It Again. <laughs>